everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Spring. I recently had the opportunity to interview Dr. Carolina Hayes, the CEO and co-founder of OneSkin, to get her input on the product and the science behind it. One of the active ingredients in the product is OS1, a novel peptide that they have identified. The team wrote up the process of identifying the peptide and the tests that they performed on it in a preprint article on BioArchive. Today, we'll go through that paper. Note, in the paper, OS1 is called Peptide 14. This is the paper. Senotherapeutic peptide reduces skin biological age and improves skin health markers where senotherapy is the therapy targeting senescent cells. Aging is an intrinsic process of our tissues. In skin, this is perceived by the accumulation of wrinkles, loss of skin elasticity and skin coloration. Many intrinsic and extrinsic processes underlie these changes. Internal processes, for example, include hormone changes leading to lower deposition of hyaluronic acid and collagen and reduced cell proliferation. External factors include sun exposure and environmental toxins. It has been shown that senescent cells build up in skin as we age. Previously it was thought that senescent cells were a byproduct of aging, but it is now understood that they are an active part of aging and dysfunction, which justifies the need to develop senotherapeutics to treat age-related diseases. The proposed model is that the previously discussed internal and external assaults on the cell induce senescent cells. This leads to an accumulation of these senescent cells in the skin which then promote further dysfunction by affecting the local environments through the secretion of SASP or senescence associated secretory phenotype. This SASP then compromises various functions such as epidermal stem cell renewal, extracellular matrix deposition, etc. If this is correct, the elimination or suppression of the senescent cell population might interrupt this feedforward loop by stopping the flow of SASP. Based on this, the team looked for a novel peptide which would reduce cellular senescent levels as their primary target. Let's look at their results. They used UVB and etoposide, a cancer chemotherapy agent known to cause senescent cells, to generate senescent cells in skin tissue from 30-year-old and 79-year-old donors. They then looked for the level of senescence associated with beta-galactosidase, the SABGAL in the charts, a marker of cell senescence. In this chart, the blue and green bar show the level of radiation, while the con concentration of peptide is given across the bottom. We can see that as the concentration of peptide increased, it reduced the level of beta-galactosidase, which would imply fewer senescent cells. A similar test was done with etoposide, which also showed positive results. The authors also looked at the biological age of the skin samples, for which they developed their own clock, the mole clock, because they did not think that the generic clocks were sufficiently accurate for skin. Based on this clock, they did see a reduction in epigenetic age for the skin samples. In this experiment, they used rapamycin as a control. Another parameter that they measured was decreasing cellular senescence and the strengthening of the skin barrier. Here the control was retinol, used in common skincare products, and they showed a thicker epidermal layer, which we can visually see here, or in a graph on this slide. And finally, as part of the paper, they report on putting the peptide into the food for C. elegans worms. The animals with the peptide showed both an extended lifespan and extended health span. This was part of the safety test, but does have interesting possibilities. This paper shows that it is possible to ameliorate signs of age, aging in skin and potentially improve the health of the overall organism. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do watch out for the interview videos with Dr. Hayes, where we go into more detail on the paper as well as the next steps for the company. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for notifications of new releases. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.